Hi friends, this lesson is for Module 1, Lesson 11. Last night I was talking to my friend Baby Bear and he told me the wildest story. Are you ready? Okay, so this is how it goes. Once upon a time, I mean, you have to say that when you're talking about cute bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears. Mommy Bear, Daddy Bear, and of course, Baby Bear. Now, just as the three bears sat down for dinner, ding dong, their doorbell rang and some more friends showed up. And Baby Bear told me that once the doorbell rang and the other friends showed up, there were five bears. And he was like, Miss Howard, can you guess how many bears showed up to my house? And I was like, um, uh, well, I just wasn't sure. But you know what? Then I thought about our learning goal for today. Our learning goal for today says, I can find the unknown that makes a change. What that means is that I can find how much something had changed to get to a new amount. So for example, if I know there are three bears, and then after they opened the doorbell, there were five, hmm, what do you think we could do to find that unknown? How, what do you think we can do to figure out how many bears are behind that door? Ooh. Did you say to count on or to count up? Well, a good idea, friends. I'm gonna get my fingers, which I like to call my counting sticks, and I'm gonna say three, and then put up a finger every time I count up to five. Are you ready? Get your hand, do it with me. Okay, ready? Three, four, five. Friend, how many counting sticks did you use? I used two as well. Okay, keep your fingers crossed because I hope there are two bears behind that door. There are, it was their cousins that came over. Now there are five bears. We had three and then we had two more to equal five. Ugh, I love a good story that involves math. Okay, I'll tell you another one about math and cute bears. So see, this is a picture of, wait, how many bears can you count? Yes, six. So there were six bears outside playing and then some more bears came and then there were nine bears all together. Oh my goodness gracious. So there were six and then some more came and to play and then there were nine. Can you use your counting sticks to try to figure out how many bears showed up on the hill? Yeah, start with six and then count up to nine using your good fingers. What number did you get? Ooh, let's see what I got. I had six, seven, eight, nine. I got three too. All right, let's see. Yeah, there were three more bears that came. Oh man, using your counting sticks can be really helpful when you are trying to find an unknown to see what made the change. You know what? I also, of course, of course, like to draw pictures. So right here I drew a picture of a circle. On one side is one of the parts, two. And then I know if I add the other part of that circle, I'm going to equal seven. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a picture to help me solve for the unknown. Instead of using my fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and draw circles. So I'll do the same thing. I'll say two, and then I'll count up until I get to seven. Do it with me, count nice and loud. Let's say two, okay, here I go, I'm gonna start drawing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, look it. Two plus the other part is gonna equal seven. That reminds me of a number bond. Does it remind anyone else of a number bond? Okay, so you notice thinking, since it reminds me of a number bond, let me just go ahead and put, I'm gonna label that. So it was two and this was five. And if I know that I put those two parts together to equal seven, I mean, I could write a number sentence. Could you write a number sentence? You could, oh, press pause, go get your dry erase board and your marker because we're gonna try it out. Okay, friend, are you ready? I want you to go ahead and write a number sentence, any number sentence, that has the two parts as being two and five and the whole amount equals seven. Can you press pause while you do that good work and then press play to check yourself? Okay, are you ready? You have a good number sentence? Okay, so this is what I did. I thought about that two and I slid him down there. Two plus the other part, which would be five equals, yeah, seven, because that was the whole amount. How'd you do, friend? Oh, kiss your brain. Perfecto. Now, obviously, I'm not going to forget out my favorite uh, math tool, so I might as well do a number bond. Okay, um, can you go ahead and press pause, draw that number bond, and fill it in with that number sentence to see how you do.
You can press play when you're ready. Did you fill in that good number bond? You did. Oh, Raxter. All right, here we go. I put two as one of the parts, five as the other part, and then seven as the whole amount. You did the same thing. We are such rock stars. Let's go ahead and tell, give ourselves a super clap. One, two, three. Perfecto. Okay, friends, do you see how we are finding the unknown that made the change? Like we had to, something happened, I don't know, it was unknown, and then we ended up with seven. We use our good picture to help us figure that out. Let's try another one. Okay, for this one, I want you to try this whole thing by yourself. Now I have one, two, three, four, five. I have a circle with five smiley faces in there. I want you to go ahead and draw circles to equal eight, starting at five. Then try to do a number sentence and a number bond to match that, okay? Press pause, it's a lot of work to do, but you can do it. Press pause to find that unknown, and then press play to check yourself. Okay, are you ready? Now here's the deal. If for some reason you forgot to press play or press pause or you press play because you're just a little stuck, that's fine because sometimes you just need a little bit of help. And at any point you can press pause and try to figure out the rest of it if maybe you got stuck on this part. Okay, so I know I had five. I added something. I don't know. It's unknown. I don't know it. And then it equals eight. So I'm going to say five and then draw circles until I get to eight. Here I go. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I stop. Does your picture look like mine? Friend, I hope that it does. What a nice job. Okay, so now I, let's see, I know that there was five to begin with, and then I drew one, two, three, three new circles. Okay, so now I should be able to fill in my number sentence and my number bond. I could say five, because that's one of the parts, plus three, because that's the other part, equals the whole amount, which is... Yep, you got it. Eight. Perfecto. Let's go ahead and throw that into our number bond, our favorite math tool. Let's see. The two parts will go on the bottom. So that's five, and the other part is three, and then that big circle has the whole amount, which is, you know it, eight. Excellent job. You know what? Our learning goal was that I can find the unknown that makes a change, and that's exactly what we've been doing this entire time. We've just been using a picture to help us figure it out. So now it's your turn. This is what I want you to seesaw to me. If you'll notice, I have a circle right there. See it? And there are three smiley faces. That's one of the parts that I've already told you. I want you to draw the picture just as you see it and have it equaling nine. Then I want you to draw the, the unknown in this little spot write a number sentence using those two parts in a whole note, and then fill in the number bond. It's quite a bit of work, but you know what? You're amazing at all of this, so it should be good for you. Good luck, friends.